college student came up with a simple but effective way to get parking tickets dismissed. It has already saved drivers an estimated four to five million dollars. The teenager, Josh Browder, has now gained the attention of billionaire tech investor Mark Cuban. The student talked to John Blackstone in Palo Alto, California in his first national interview and showed us why he has no plans to sell out. On crowded city streets, few things are more hated than parking tickets. And that has made 19-year-old Josh Browder a bit of a hero to thousands of drivers. Almost overnight, it went from 40 people, which I was very proud of, to um, a few thousand, and then it just built up from there. He's talking about his website, Do Not Pay, which uses artificial intelligence to beat parking tickets. In his case, necessity was the mother of invention. You get a driver's license, you also start to get parking tickets. After about the fourth ticket, um, my parents said to me, you're on your own, uh, we're not gonna help you out anymore. And I didn't have the money to pay for these tickets. What he did have was computer programming skills. He began learning when he was just a kid. Skills he used to create a robot lawyer, also known as a bot. If you say hello to the bot, it says hello back. So this is artificial intelligence. Very simple artificial intelligence, but the way it works is um, the bot asks a few questions about your ticket. For example, it will say, um, were the signs easy to understand? And once it finds out the issue from those responses, it takes down a few details and then places all of these details into a challenge letter, which is sent to the local authorities. Josh, who just finished his freshman year at Stanford, launched Do Not Pay last September in England. He says more than 60% of users there have gotten tickets dismissed. Now he's come to the aid of U.S. drivers, starting with New York City, where, he says, even a minor mistake on a ticket can get it tossed. For example, they say the car is red instead of green. Um, that's very clear cut and that will get the ticket dismissed. He sees it as a public service and says bots can do a lot of good, especially for people with limited resources. One of my projects is expanding the technology to assist asylum seekers and um, Syrian refugees in the UK. And the way that will work is the bot will have to understand Arabic kind of inputs and produce documents in English and also answers to their questions back in Arabic. Josh has no plans to charge for any of his products and does not sell advertising. The fact that I can do something that nobody else is doing, uh, even if it's free um, and it helps a lot of people, is really um, gratifying for me. If there are perhaps other ways to make money, then I'm not against that. But he's already turned down some big money offers. Instead, focusing on expanding Do Not Pay to other cities. I think if anyone puts their mind to it, they can do it. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, Palo Alto, California. A lot of people will appreciate you, Josh, for your public service. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, sir. I know. Yeah.